on day one of my 30 day yoga challenge. It's a brand new month, it's the first of the month, it feels like clean slate and it just gives me a lot of motivation. I'm really looking forward to just dedicating X amount of time every single day to coming to my mat. Yoga is just really good for the mind and body regardless of how long you're doing it for it's still gonna benefit you in some way. This will most likely be my space for a majority of the days. I always just set out my mat here in my room, right in front of my mirror, which is perfect. And I'll usually do a Peloton yoga class, which does require a membership. We do share one in the family, which I'm so thankful for. Some days I'm gonna try to go into a yoga studio. Some days I might just do a flow on my own, listen to my own music. We'll see, I'm gonna try to switch it up. But for the most part, I'll be here in my room. Let's kick it off. I have a 45 minute slow flow picked out and I'm super excited. Knees as wide as the mat, big toes touching together behind you. So, throughout this video, I do want to take some time to just dive into everything talk about yoga in general, my experience with it, how it's helped me personally in the past, and I guess why I decided to go full force for this challenge. For anyone who doesn't know, you're not familiar, and you just want to learn something new, the purpose of yoga is to build strength, awareness, and harmony within the mind and body. The word yoga is derived from the Sanskrit root yuj, meaning to join or to unite. So in the practice, it's all about combining the physical postures and poses with breathing techniques, meditation, and relaxation. With any sort of physical activity that you do, whether it be weightlifting, running, yoga, when you're able to reach that mind to muscle connection, that's when you're getting the most out of what you're doing. So that sort of unison within yourself is a key factor of yoga and something that I really love and appreciate about it. Day one done. There's never a yoga class that I regret taking. My head feels so clear and I just feel ready to take on the rest of this day, the rest of this week, the rest of this month. Like honestly, I feel superior. Initially thought to do this challenge yesterday as I was doing my bullet journal spread. I got this idea of doing the stick figures in a circle from Pinterest. The bottom here says, be the energy you wish to attract. I feel like that's one of my favorite quotes about life and just ways that I want to live by, I guess. I also made a dedicated spread to my 30 days of yoga blank calendar. I'm just going to write in like the type of class that I did. So today it would be a 45 minute slow flow class. If I do hot yoga at core power one day, then I'll write that down. If I do something that's like self-led, then I'll write that down too. This part of it all is something I get very giddy about because there's nothing more satisfying than penciling something in. Morning. It is day two. Ooh. I feel like this month there's a couple habits, good habits that I want to get into. Yoga every single day, obviously. And number two, getting up earlier and starting my day right away. Last night I had volleyball practice and my IT band is feeling pretty tight. Pain slash discomfort in this area right here is kind of new for me. I don't know. I've had tendonitis in my knees from playing volleyball, but not really so much here, like on my outer. I'm just gonna massage it for a little bit. It's probably foam roll later today too. And then I'm gonna do my yoga. As much as you need to release that strap so that you can straighten out the leg, pull your right toes back towards your face, a full breath in. And soften, maybe you're able to absorb a little bit more of that pull on the strap. Right arm extends the other way now. Feeling this stretch all along the outer edge of your right thigh, hip. You're going to be getting into your IT band a little bit. Oh, wow. We're going to take a quick so figure. Cool. Another thing that I love about yoga is that you can take literally whatever it is you need from your practice. Some days I come to my mat knowing that I want to challenge. I want to put in my 110% effort. I want to be shaken and I'm really pushing myself. But then there are some days where that's not what I need. Some days I just want to take a step back, focus more on my breathing. Maybe something is aching and I'm feeling a little tight. There's always a choice and there's no pressure. I love that my intensity and my intention is always in my control. It's honestly so empowering. This day specifically I mentioned, I was having some discomfort in my IT band and maybe I just got lucky that the class literally focused in on that. But I find that this happens a lot. Yoga is able to give me what I'm craving that day. My practice can be restorative. It could be explorative. It could be both. It's really up to me.
college, I would say, was the time that I really started to consistently incorporate yoga into my routine. During this time, I was so stressed and so swamped with assignments, different obligations. I was playing a ton of volleyball, training on my own. My mind and body were just kind of in shambles and yoga really allowed me that time and space for myself. So I've always felt this close personal connection to it. I really just wanted to reignite this passion and what better way than to just go for a 30 day challenge. Day. Okay, I don't even know what day it is anymore, but it is very late at night. It's like literally almost 11 p.m. It's Sunday and it just took me forever to get to working out. I'm just working out from home today. I'm gonna finish up with some yoga. We're just gonna take it easy. Just do a quick one and that'll count for today. I really thrive off of setting SMART goals. And if this acronym is new to you, it stands for specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals. Basically something trackable so that you can see your progress. I am a true goal getter, goal setter. I love working towards something with a clear endpoint, or I guess not even, I wouldn't even call it an endpoint. Let's go with checkpoint because by no means am I just gonna cold turkey stop doing yoga once the challenge is over. With daily repetition, you're just boosting momentum to implement this desired change. Doing a challenge provides the jumpstart you might need in starting whatever journey it is. Happy Monday. Oh my gosh, my face is so freaking red. My hair is a mess. Just finished my workout. I did the Peloton downstairs. I've not been going to the gym much, um, and there's a part of me that's beating myself up saying like I should be lifting and I should be getting stronger, and pushing myself with weights and all that. But the other part of me is just enjoying what I feel like doing and what's successful to me. Just because I haven't been lifting doesn't mean that I haven't been having great workouts at home. Excuse me, sir. All right. I guess Elvis wants to join in. He's already in Shavasana. Mm. He is knocked out. Today is going to be the first day that I'm not actually taking a class, following instruction. I'm just gonna stretch out, maybe do a little flow on my own. I recently made a new playlist on Spotify. It's called Slow Flow for a cool down for when I'm working. It's just like really easy going music. 39.30, so I'm gonna get to this. I guess I'll just stretch around. Throughout these 30 days, I found a lot of small successes within my journey and that really just motivated me to keep working hard. And after committing to something for X amount of days and re-exposing myself to this healthy habit left me feeling clear-headed, refreshed, rejuvenated, and it made me almost crave it. I would finish my yoga session for the day feeling so at ease and already being excited for the next time that I get to come to my mat, work on my flexibility, work on my balance. I also just noticed a lot of really positive changes in my mood and my focus and my overall outlook on life. Like I felt good taking time out of my day to slow down my thoughts and just kind of be in tune with myself. <laughs> hello, hello. It is day 10, I think. Just finished my workout and I'm actually in a new gym. Same gym, but just a different location and it is beautiful, let me just say. Look at this freaking room and it's completely empty. Figured I might as well sell out of that. Do my yoga now. 30 minutes, I think is good. Take off my shoes real quick. <laughs> I would say the rest of my fitness regime is pretty vigorous. I like sweaty workouts, hit, pushing weights, cardio, volleyball, obviously is very high intensity, but that is why I felt it was so important to reintroduce yoga back into my life. Not everyone is able to or is used to having to sit with the discomfort that 
comes with yoga. Having to be in a pose for an extended period of time. Having to really check in on all these different cues within your body to make sure you're properly aligned. It's not only physically challenging, but it's also mentally. Like, can you just tune out all those crazy thoughts that are running through your head and really tune into what's going on in front of you. I feel like being able to shift my focus while I'm doing yoga actually translates to my real life. I really felt that this translates into my work life, my relationships with family, friends, even myself. There are definitely some life lessons to be learned through doing yoga. vlogged for this video in a while or like talk to the camera it's june 20th so we're about two-thirds of the way through this month to be completely transparent i kind of fell off my yoga game for the past three or four days I've still been working out consistently and honestly my gym game has been top notch so proud about that but you know definitely haven't been making time for yoga i was going so strong for the first third of this month like literally doing full classes pretty much every day. I just wanna kind of learn how to balance lifting with yoga and doing both, not neglecting one and sacrificing to do the other, that sort of thing. I challenged myself to do 30 days of yoga for a number of reasons. No specific order, I'm just kind of talking, but number one, probably the consistency aspect, just setting my mind to do something 30 days in a row. Number two, improve on the physical aspect of yoga, increase my flexibility, improve on balance. And then number three, practicing more mindfulness and really be in tune with my body. I think about a week ago during one of my classes, the lady who was teaching it, she was talking about what yoga really is. Something that I took away from what she said is that yoga is not necessarily how flexible you are. If you can touch your toes or do the splits or do all these crazy inversions, it's not really about that. Just because you can do that doesn't make you more of a yogi. It may seem like that, but the bigger, most important part about yoga and why people practice it and love it so much is just the ability to be more aware and conscious with your thoughts. It really is like a mind and soul thing. I can't tell you for sure if I've improved physically, but even during the past couple days when I missed out on my yoga sessions, I feel like my mind overall just throughout the day is in a better place. And I just feel really good and refreshed mentally. If I wasn't able to make it to my yoga session, I was at least doing like a sleep meditation or even just like a five to 10 minute mindful moment to myself. It's definitely something new for me that I will definitely take away from this and will continue to implement in my life. But yeah, that's where I'm at. And I just wanted to be transparent with y'all i did just get back home from the gym and i hit upper body so my arms are honestly really tired <laughs> probably just gonna do like a 20 30 minute sesh here in my room i want to finish out this challenge strong so the rest of this week i think i will probably start my mornings off with yoga just so that there's less chance that i skip out or just keep pushing it later in the day and then end up not doing it at all yeah I feel amazing, amazing. A little update for the rest of this challenge. I'll probably be doing a lot more hot yoga classes. Yesterday, I decided to renew my Core Power membership for a month. It's quite the expense, but for the next month, starting yesterday, I'm gonna be in the city pretty much. Like, I don't have any big plans to travel, so I'm gonna just go as often as I can and just really get my money's worth for that membership. It's like unlimited access, which is great. So I went yesterday, I went this morning. Great way to start my Friday. Obviously, I can't film during the class when I'm in there, but sometimes I'll get clips before class or after class. It's obviously different because it's blazing hot in there, almost 100 degrees in the room, but it's also different because the group setting, other people around you. Previously, I was only really doing it from home by myself, which I kind of like, feel like my focus can be a lot better when I'm alone just because I don't have everything else in the room to distract me. Also having an instructor in person really does help me focus as well. So I don't know. I like both though. I feel like I can be in a certain mood for either one. Overall though, solid class. 
and the final week of my challenge I pretty much completed at my core power yoga studio I really did miss the group atmosphere getting there 15 minutes early to get my favorite spot in the room it's definitely a different experience doing it in the studio versus at home I'm glad that I got a taste of both this month and yeah that was a wrap on my 30 days I did miss a day or so but no biggie the more important thing here is that I did carry out this habit after the challenge ended come July come August I have been still practicing yoga not every single day but every few days I make time for it this is exactly what I was looking to get out of this challenge is to just reintroduce myself rediscover why I loved it so much in hopes to bring it back and have it stick I'm not the most flexible not the most advanced yogi but I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy it and highly recommend anyone out there to give yoga a try I really believe there are different benefits for everyone if not yoga maybe something else if there's something new that you want to try or a new habit you're trying to form take this as a sign to do it enjoy the process good luck if you guys liked coming along for this challenge you want to see more give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already thank you all so so much for watching that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one